Hello, community. Bienvenue, Aquaba, no. Welcome. In this space, we'll contemplate and explore nonviolence and the breakdown of its facets. We'll learn together and grow better together in our understanding of nonviolence as a concept and how we can live it out daily in contemporary times. It's been a minute, a long minute, it feels like, uh, since our last uh, get together. And I have the great honor of blaming a body or a piece of work, um, a reflection piece on nonviolence that I've been working on and I was finalizing. And I'll be delighted to share in upcoming chapters with you, my community. For now, I'm so happy to be back and reconnected with you and hope you and yours are very well. Uh, amidst the goings on in the world, of course, the war. Um, we're aware of the preciousness of life and the opportunity to connect and form community through our work and through our passions and through our relationships. So the question we wrangle with today is, what do we do when a public figure, a mentor, or personal hero resorts to violence? Now, of course, we know violence is typified in our popular culture, in movies, blockbuster movies, um, in video games, um, all over. And um, it's taken as a norm in uh, society and um, it's, it's threaded uh, into the weave of culture and what's popular and uh, what is uh, oftentimes commendable. So what happens um, when something as has recently happened, um, happens. So we can't help but com comment on news and culture and of course, public discourse. And of course, everybody's talking about the Oscars and the unfortunate resort to violence by a figure, a pop icon until date, a star of the big screen, who would have otherwise eclipse the news headlines by making history uh, in a remarkable way. But um, the unfortunate example uh, was the use of a fist of cuffs, you could say, <laughs> in response to a verbal jab and the dig. And this was witnessed by millions, millions, I'm sure, including yourself who watched live and the millions who would still rewatch that clip of the particular scene unfold as the award ceremony took place. So I sampled some views and perspectives of single individuals and some parents who had the ricochet effect on society at large and certainly on their children in mind and heart. And I'm happy to share some of those responses, which I would um, read at nauseum as follows. S had a long night and had had it by the time R landed that joke. So it was a lot of pent up emotions at that point. What is the point of brotherhood and the shared struggle to success to end with this? Is that the example for men to respond or react with in defense of their own? Does it come down to violence and cussing when one feels anger or upset? Is this the only way men should know how to resolve a disagreement or difficulty? What does this say to the world and to how the personality is assessed in times to come? Oh, the historic and momentous gain of that starlit moment of the Oscars has been bellied by the street star response. And two more comments. One says, it seems all right to tell you I'm not happy, impressed, or pleased with your words or actions by shifting your teeth or jawline. And the last comment was, so goes the man, so goes the society. Hmm. So the general sentiment I gleaned from these comments uh, is, is and was a disheartened disappointment in the action and resort to violence, yes, by a known and popular icon, yes, on live television, yes, at a red carpet event and feature of the Academy, but most of all, disappointment in the personality who is now seen to have taken the road most traveled. 
in the unraveling of emotion, in the face of misunderstanding and disagreement, in the wave and upheaval of the anger, the feelings of anger and conflict, and in what you might call the adjudication of a dispute through the only response given at that moment, which was a response of violence. And this is seen as the known default with which some of our younger and older people can then look to and also ascribe to erstwhile cool pop icons and perhaps used to justify their own actions, interactions, and misunderstanding? Or could we think about it another way? And could we teach our young people and older people a better way? Uh, Dr. King would certainly think so. And I know each of us do. Without a doubt, let's think about that. My best wishes to you for this week and um, in all your activities ahead. Be well till next time, my love. <laughs>